right, so chapter 11 uh, incorporates a few things, but um, so today we're going to talk about circumference and arc length. So I made kind of a, a big deal about in the last chapter that an arc measure, like it's 80 degrees, does not mean how long it is. So we're going to start to talk about how long um, an arc is. Um, but first we're going to look at, you know, circumference. So circumference is 2 pi r, or you can look at it as pi times diameter. Same thing. So two radius, two times the radius is the same as diameter. So the simple problem, you know, is like if we, so if we had like radius equals nine, then it's just 18 pi. And if you type it into a calculator, you get 56.55. Okay, so not too bad. Um, so some problems, they're going to tell you the circumference. And they might ask you to find like the radius. <clears throat> so if it said find the diameter, you could plug it into this top equation. If it says find the radius, you could plug it into one on the left. So if the circumference is 26. And I'm asked to find the radius, then I can just divide by 2 pi. And this would be like 13 over pi, and you know, 26 divided by 2. And then you can punch it into a calculator, and we get about 14, or excuse me, 4.14. Okay, so you'll have some, you know, here's the diameter, here's the radius, what's the circumference, or some here, what's, here's the circumference, find either the diameter or the radius. All right, so then we'll move on to finding an arc length. And so, you know, if we had... Problem like this. And it'll, I think a lot of them say, like, find like the red arc. So the way that I think you should think about it is it's like a percentage of the circle. You know, I could figure out how far it is all the way around the circle, uh, but I only want part of it. So it's like, you know, it's like a pizza all the way around the outside of the pizza, but I only want like one piece of the pizza. So how far is just that one part? It's a percentage of the whole thing. And so they use this formula, which is essentially um, a percentage. So it's arc length over circumference, like the whole thing. Like what's the arc length over the, uh, the circumference? And then it's the arc measure. So remember this is gonna be degree over 360 degrees. So it's, you know, like 2 pi r, that's circumference, that's all the way around the circle. And 360 degrees is all the way around the circle. So it's like taking these two, um, you know, setting up a proportion where we have a part over a hole and a part over a hole. So you're going to know um, there's three pieces of information missing. Arc length 
radius and arc measure. You're going to know two of those three in the problem. So I know the arc measure is 60. Okay, central angle is the same as the arc. And it gives me the radius is 8. So arc length is what I don't know. And so, you know, I can put 16 pi here. And over here, I would want to reduce that whenever possible. Um, so I can, you know, if you have zeros, they reduce each other out. I have 6 over 36, which is 1 over 6. Makes the problem significantly easier. Um, and I leave pi in the problem as long as I can. You don't have to, but I leave it in as long as possible. So if I multiply diagonally and then solve for x, so now I do need to do 16 pi divided by 6. So 16 pi divided by 6. And I get 8.38. I think it says round to the nearest hundredth. So you need to go to the next decimal point. Okay. Um, so there's one where you're going to find the length of the arc. More so like this problem. <coughs> excuse me. Where you have, okay, that arc length is this long. You know, and some of the parts will be straight lines, so that'll be um, like easy to kind of figure out because um, you know, just like this last one, that you could have one that says um, So then, like, uh, this one will be find the circumference. Okay, and so we're going to use that same formula. Okay, I know 360 is always there. And then the arc measure is 40 degrees. The arc length is 4.19. And then I don't know circumference. So you could put a C for circumference. You could put X, whatever. <clears throat> okay. So I would still, again, over here, zeros reduce, 4 and 36 becomes 1 ninth. And then when you multiply the diagonals, C times 1 is just C, and 9 times 4.19 is 37.71. So it could, if it could ask, like, what's the radius, then you'd have to kind of go back and plug it into, you know, if the circumference is 37.71, go back and plug it into the circumference formula and solve for R. Um, but I think most of them will just say find the circumference. Okay, and then you could have, so there's three different versions of the problem because there's three different, um, you know, pieces of information. So it depends on which one they don't tell you. So if that's 44 meters, it's talking about the arc. And then this is 15.3 for the radius. So then it wants to know like what's the arc measure of AC? Like what degrees is that? <clears throat> so on this one, I don't know the arc measure. I know 360. Um, I know the arc length is 44, 
and then I have 2 pi, and then the radius is 15.3. So, I'd want to get this one fifteen point three times two. So this one's a little bit more messy with the solving because we can't reduce the like degree like part. So I'm gonna get thirty point six pi x multiplying diagonals and then 360 times 44 is 15,840 and then I'm going to divide by 30.6 pi so divided by 30.6 pi and Oops, I need to do that different. Okay. So one five eight forty divided by thirty point six pi and I get one sixty four point seven and I think these ones say um like round to the nearest degree. Okay, so there's three different versions of that problem to, you know, depending on what piece of information is missing. Radius, the arc measure, which is the degree, and the arc length. So you could have three different types of problems there. Did. All right, so then we'll have some, let's see how well I can do this. That's not very good. This one's a little better. So I'm trying to draw like a track like that you run on. So it basically wants to know So it wants to know like how far would you run um, if you went all the way around the track. And so it does tell you, and I'll put it down here, but it does tell you that each of these like <clears throat> corners is 180 degrees. So um, you know, I think the easy part is to know that, well, the length of both of those is going to be the same. So I have 8439 twice. Okay, and then I need to incorporate, like, the curves. And so what I kind of, when I see this one, I see, well, like, this left part is half a circle, and that right part is the other half a circle. So basically, I just need to find the circumference of a circle with a radius of 36.8. I don't need to do half the circle on the left and half the circle on the right. I'm, like, adding stuff into the problem I don't need. So I'm just going to do... Like 36.8, oops, typed in my calculator wrong. 36.8 times 2 is 73.6 pi. Which equals 2, oops, 230. 
one, not two twenty one, two thirty one point twenty two. So then I just need to add that back up here. And we get 400 meters, which that's how long it is around a track. Okay, so you'll have a couple problems toward the end where it's going to ask you to find the perimeter of a shaded part. Okay, and so you're going to need to like, you know, okay, what, how much of the circle it's going to kind of incorporate. You know, 84, 39, 84, 39, those ones are simple. And then you're going to have to do circumference. Okay? All right, so there's circumference and arc length. All right, have a great day, guys. We'll see you later.